It is a beautiful foggy morning here in Northeast Tennessee. And we're gonna go walking down by the river and we're gonna see what kind of wildlife we come across. Let's head out. Hey guys, so it's been a pretty crazy week for me. We had to go to Duke University this this week. Uh, the emergency room, we, let me specify that, the emergency room there uh, for my wife so that she could get an answer for something that's been going on for her. And we spent three days there. She's doing much better. Um, but yeah, she talks about this stuff on our Little Bit More channel. So if you want to find out more, you can go to the Little Bit More channel and look for some home vlogs. But um, I'll put a link below too. But today I thought, I'm going walking. Let's go up in Kingsport and go along the trail. It goes along the Holston River up there. It's 15 miles long and it's really nice great for birding uh, all kinds of different herons uh, wood ducks all kinds of variety of ducks actually um, so there's a lot of stuff to shoot along the river up there it's really nice natural habitats it's a great walking trail to be honest with you i usually go to Laurel run because it's a certified mo uh, mile track easy to keep up with oh i walk three laps three miles you know but uh it only half the track follows the river up there so Today, I wanted to stay along the river the whole time and see what we can find. Um, I got my 100 to 400 uh, Sigma C-Series lens with me, and we're just going to go birding. Or maybe a beaver will pop up, or, you know, who knows what, an otter. I come across them all the time, muskrats. I was actually at Laurel Run this week, and I got some cool shots of a muskrat, which I'll throw up right here before we get down here. Um, I got some muskrats. And I got some good habitat shots. There's a really cool shot of a turtle um, in its habitat. You know, uh, so I, I really like that. Habitat shots are really cool because it focuses more on the surrounding of the animal versus the animal. You know, it shows how the animal lives in its environment. So I've got some of those. I took some of those shots. And there's a bird. I call him Frank, Angry Frank. And he's a great blue heron. He hates me. Every time he sees me, he just squawks. And he's always a pain in the butt. You can't get within 20 yards of the thing. And he's and the whole time you scare you you scare him away. And the whole time he'll fly by you and he'll just be like, whoa, 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 yelling at you. So I call him Angry Frank. And uh, I got a couple good shots of Angry Frank. And we'll put it in there too. But yeah, we're going to head to Kingsport. We're going to get on the trail. And we're going to see what we can find today. So check these photos out from the last couple of days walking at Little Run. And... We'll get back with you. start at the Indian Trail Drive trailhead along the green belt here and it'll follow the creek slash river the whole way you can see some geese over here not too big into photographing Canadian geese as I got a ton of those shots but hopefully we will find some wood duck. Pretty cool. I like how that one's in the light though. So there's a mother duck with some of its little hatchlings. Little ducklings right there. And they're in the light. So I'm going to grab a shot of that. That looks cute. I don't want to get too close because I don't want to scare them. So see what I can get there they go <laughs> swimming away I think I got a good shot of that check out the size of this freaking tree this is a monster 
That is crazy. So we've walked about a mile and all I've seen are geese and regular ducks, what I call regular ducks. No wood ducks as of yet, but we will see. Still a lot of ground to cover and I may go to a different section of the, of the trail too here in a little bit. Where the great blue herons are. So we'll see. So here's an overview of the trail system. We are down here toward the bottom where that orange dot is. May go back up here. This is where a lot of the great blue heron I find set along the trail. I don't know what to see. I'm still on the hunt for the wood duck. So no wood ducks along this mile stretch that I tried. I've seen them here before, struck out today. Um, going to head to a different section and hopefully could find some different type of heron, green heron, great blue heron, uh, crown, yellow crown, looking for anything a little bit different. <laughs> But yeah, we're uh, we're gonna pack up here on this lower end stretch, and we're gonna head on up to riverfront area, and really see what we can find out there. So hopefully, the water's down a little bit. Hopefully, they'll be out there fishing, trying to catch something to eat. So we will see. It's early morning. It's a good time to get them. All right. So I'm out here on the upper part of the trail along the river here, and I'm gonna turn this camera around and show you what I'm looking at, but. I usually find quite a bit of wildlife through here. I don't see nothing right now, of course, but you can kind of see where they fish right here in the rapids. So let me turn this around. All right, so look out here. You can see all the rocks and rapids. Pretty cool. That's Interstate 26 with a bridge there. We're gonna walk way on down the river here See if we can come across anything. But yeah, I find, find them out here quite a bit fishing. Good spot to get some fish in the rapids and good place to perch up on land. Well, I did find a green heron, but it took off across the other side of the river once it saw me. <laughs> so. He ain't coming back. It's been one of those mornings where nothing is working. It happens. To show you how skittish he actually is, I am right here at the edge of this little trail going down to the river there. And he was in the river right there, turned and saw me about where those ducks are and took off way up that way I think I'm gonna move on up the river again or maybe go on the lower run I am striking out here pretty big crazy usually they're everywhere not today well, I ended up seeing one more green heron on the way back, and he flew off too. Um, <sighs> frustrating. But if you don't know what a green heron is, I'm going to throw up a picture here I took of one while I was at Laurel Run. You can check him out here so you can get an idea. They're smaller birds. Um, very skittish, they really are. Um, they... They fly away real easy. Um, you, you come within like 40 yards of them. They're just like, they, they see you, they, they're watching you, and you get a little closer, they go away. Yeah, it's been my experience with them anyways. Very hard to photograph. Um, great blue herons are a little easier. They, they get skittish too. 
I've not, if you can find a yellow crowned heron, I'll put one picture of one right here too. The couple times I've ran into them, they seem to have been pretty patient and let you get pretty close to them. Um, that's kind of what I was hoping to find down here uh, was something like that, but no, struck out today, big time. Uh, I'm gonna move on up. Let's see what else I can strike out on. <laughs> Alrighty. This has to be one of the prettiest stretches of the Holston River. Right below our house, right here at Little Run. I come up here and walk every day. I take my camera with me every day because you never know what you're going to find. I find quite a bit of wildlife out here. All kinds of birds, river otters, beavers, all kinds of stuff. The river's a little low today, which is great because that usually brings out the bigger birds. And uh, I've actually photographed osprey fishing out here too. So I'm hoping that maybe by chance while I'm out here, something cool will happen like that. I don't know. But it's a almost a half mile stretch down to the end down there to where along the river part. It makes a big loop for a mile but this is just one of the most beautiful places to come walk just love it I actually photographed that muskrat yesterday which you saw the pictures of right up in here along that grassy patch right there goes a cormorant there's another one out there swimming around somewhere they're very skittish as well. It's like all the birds are freaking skittish. <laughs> but they are. Unless you're an American robin, which you can about go out and pet them here. But they like to, the cormorants like to set out on these little things sticking up out of the water. Little rocks and limbs and they like to perch up and spread their wings. Sometimes you can get some good shots of them if they're fairly calm. But... For the most part, they're pretty skittish. They go out and swim, dive under the water, and fish. Pretty fun to watch. So I know this is hard to tell, but you can see the fins to the red sucker fish out there in the weeds, bobbing up and down. Because the river is actually really low. It's supposed to be up here on the side of the bank. But, yeah. Which is crazy it's this low considering we've had nothing but a week of rain. But you can see the top fins every now and then come up through the moss. So pretty out here today. I don't even see Frank today. I mean there is nothing out. This is crazy. Man, today is just a loss for sure. Taking a big L. So I've just hit four miles of walking today. I gotta say, you don't win them all. But today was abnormally bad. Like, nothing. Like, when I first got to the green belt, I got a couple shots right off the bat and that was it. That's all I got. So, pretty crazy. I'm looking in the trees for Orioles, all kinds of stuff. I ain't seeing crap. So, yeah. Well guys, it's a little later in the evening. It's about 10 after six right now. And I thought I would come back this evening to see if I can find anything along the little run since I live so close. I just couldn't handle how much of nothing I found earlier. So yeah, we're gonna try again and just be persistent. Something's gotta be out there, you know, to give me a pretty decent photo. So that's what we're doing. We're going down the little run again, just to see if I can get something. If not, then it is what it is. 
<laughs> it's a crap day, which you get a lot of those. So half the fun is the hunt, though. That makes it when you find that one, that one image you hunted for, makes it much more worth it. So that's what we're doing. We're hunting. All right, so I think I got a decent shot of an eastern bluebird right here. As he hopped down to, I don't know, grab something off the ground here. I don't know what to look look at it here. Well, you'll see it here in a second, but I'll have to look at it when I get back home. But pretty afternoon. The park is much crowded, much, much more crowded today or this evening. So, yeah. I see some kayakers coming. Could be a cool shot there. And I see Frank out there in the middle of the freaking river with kayakers closer to him than I've ever been. All right, I'm going to try to get a shot of that. All right, yeah, so Frank is out there in the middle. And that guy got really close to him. Frank has never let me do that to him. He ain't even squawking at him. What a jerk. <laughs> Look at that. That kayak's going right around him. All right, so Frank just came a little closer. He's lunged twice and missed twice. Kind of funny. That's what he gets. Jerk. Let's see if he gets any closer this way, though. I'll throw a picture up here in a few minutes of the closest I could get to him. Just to show you kind of who he is. <laughs> All right, so Frank has actually caught a pretty big fish. Um... I've got a few shots of it so far. I'm waiting on him to do something with it. You see what he's doing. So Frank caught this fish that was bigger than he could eat, killed it, played with it for a little bit, and then let it float downstream because it was too big for him to eat. The heck. So now he's got a little bit closer and he's waiting on smaller fish. I know you can't probably see me, might be a little black dot in the sky, but there's now an eagle circling where Frank's at. So I bet you he sees the fish that Frank killed and may try to swoop down and get it. I hope so. Getting interesting, finally. Alright, so I took a quick photo as he swung by real quick. It's not the best photo, but I wanted to show you that it is a bald eagle circling overhead so hopefully we can get a good shot of him if he will come back all right i am considerably closer to frank is he stocking a fish or something but i'm right here in the rocks in the river I haven't seen that eagle anymore either, so I don't think he'll be coming back. But I'm hoping Frank can catch something because I'm at a really good distance with this lens to get a good shot. So we shall see. And I think our muskrat friend is also right here on a rock. Right there. Which Frank would eat him too if he saw him. So. Let's see what we can get. Just saw a snake swim to that rock. So, not sure where he's going or where he is. I'm going to back up just a little bit out of this water because I'm actually in the water. So, yeah, I'm not too fond of snakes. I've been sitting here for about an hour. Frank's caught a fish, too big, eagle, snake, muskrat, back to waiting. <laughs> so, it's part of it. At least there's animals out right now. It's exciting. But I wish Frank would hurry and catch something. Yeah, the park closes in like an hour. <laughs> Well, I think Frank's done fishing. I think I got some good picks. I'm going to go home, edit them. You guys will see them here in a minute. I also got a warbler shot, so I hope it came out pretty good. But, yeah, 
the park's getting ready to close. I just talked to the guy who's rounding everybody up, kick us out. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this afternoon paid off. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hope you like these images. It's pays to be persistent. So yeah, early morning didn't work out. Late afternoon did. So yeah. Hope you guys like these again. Follow me on Instagram, JTM71. I do anything and everything photography. So if you like the channel, if you like vlogs, these are straight photography vlogs. I don't do any clickbait stuff, but I'll do reviews here and there. But yeah, give me a follow, give me a like, and we'll catch you next time. Later, guys.